graph based testing graph see graph is a pictorial view and it will it immensely help in understanding the problem to analyze the problem and to solve the problem so this testing is a kind of problem only so better is and how to uh, you know generate these uh, test cases how to implement the test cases so in black box testing the testing begins by creating a graph of important objects and their relationship in white box testing we were doing the same thing we used to find out the cyclomatic complexity we used to find out the independent path and the basic path testing and then it is applied this is how the test cases are generated similar testing in black box also in in the white box also we created this graph here also we can create create graph but here we will have objects and we will try to show the relationship so the test that will cover the graph so that each object and relationship is exercised at least once and the errors are uncovered so what we do is we will make a graph graph is a collection of node and these nodes will represent different objects you can understand it as an object of an object oriented or it can be separate object you will understand now the links that represent the relationship between objects and all the nodes you see we can describe the weight also that can be a property for example a specific data value or a state behavior for example if a is 10 a plus plus we have done it has become 11 so the state is different and then the link weights node weight also we can give the link weights also we can give so the link weights that will describe some characteristic of a link nodes they are represented by circles and these are connected by certain links the link can be a different type it can be directed link directed link that is represented by a single arrow it indicate a relationship from one to another only in one direction we can have a bidirectional like this one also a plane line this is uh, implying that the relationship applies in both the directions it can be like this also it can be simple line also these are bidirectional links parallel links these are used when number of different relationships are established between graph nodes there can be multiple relationship between two nodes so let me just revise it these are the objects these are nodes there are links how they are related object 1 is related to object 2 object 1 and object 3 are related both ways object 2 object 3 are related in multiple way that is why we are having a parallel link you can assign different weight values the strength values these are called the numbers okay let us understand this with an with an example now let let us say we have a word processing application like the microsoft word how does the object can relate the objects first will be whenever you uh, invoke microsoft word there will be a menu file new you will put click file new will come so new file menu select is a object the second object can be document window whenever we click on new file there will be a window a window uh, say plain clean window will come and then we have a document text this is the object 3 see when you press new a document window will come now you are going to write something in the document text so this all will be object 3 now the first one new file menu select now menu will generate a document window so it can be only one directional document window will not generate the menu select a menu you will not you, you cannot go uh, other way around okay and the document window whenever you are working on it you are working on it you will write certain things because once you press a menu menu button you will have a clean document window you want some default setting some white background when you write you want some uh, font color like black okay default color of preferences the background color 
these are the attributes these are the weight being given to node number 2 and now we are giving link weight also link weight so let us say it is 1 second so this link indicate that whenever we press the new file button or menu it should generate below 1 second in the document window and there is an undirected link between uh, or, or say in symmetric relationship between the new file and document text and there are parallel links this shows that they have, they have relationship between document window and document text because document window will contain document text so we have parallel links okay so this is just a simple example for you to understand how do we make the object and what are the relationship we can give and what are the numbers or weights we provide for graph based testing method of black box testing but in reality this kind of graph is more detailed okay for a test case design you need more detailed type of graph to be made so there can be multiple type of graph bezier he described number of behavioral testing method that can make use of certain type of graphs because it is not only about a you know one or two testing it is about behavior testing performance testing there can be different kind of nodes can be made okay for example trans transaction flow modeling when you use the transaction flow modeling then what will be the nodes and what are the relationship between the nodes how the links will be formed let us see for example a window uh, this document window can you can check the uh, say spelling you can do multiple editing there's so many thing you can do on microsoft word for that we can have transaction flow modeling now here the nodes are going to represent their the transaction different transaction so keep that thing in mind and now i'll give you more examples you are trying to reserve a ticket on airline reservation system so what will be the for example the nodes will look like the link represent the logical connection between steps and the node will represent the step in some transaction for example a data object can be flight information input and this is followed by an operation which is called validation available process you can also use the finite state modeling again we can make the graph so the node will represent different user observable states of the software because there will be different state for example a can be 10 a can be 11 so these are user observable i'm talking about the user observable state each of the screen that appear say some entry clerk uh, takes a phone order or takes an order this can be node and what are the links they can represent the transition that occur to move from one state to another so what the link will show what is done so that the states are changed and states are what the observable behavior for example i'll just give you one more example for this finite state modeling the order information is verified during the inventory availability lookup and this is followed by customer billing information input so this nodes are representing user observable states and the link is representing the transition that occur to move from state to state this is the finite state modeling example we can also use the data flow modeling and data form flow modeling the nodes can be here data objects and the links are the transformation that occur to translate one data object into another for example say some tax computation uh, problem is there so ftw for example fica tax withheld this is computed from the gross wages or the salary gw so what are the relationship ftw is equal to some number into gw let us take for example the number is 0.62 just a random random number we are taking so this is how the computation will be done okay so the, this is how the data flow modeling you can make in timing modeling the nodes are uh, or they can be program objects 
and the links are the sequential connections between those objects again in timing modeling the nodes can be program objects the links are sequential collection so the link weights are used to specify the required execution times as the program execute let me tell you again the link weights are number of uh, execution time required as the program is executing so these are different uh, model you can use with reference to the graph